So in this video, what I would like to discuss is one of the tools of the Federal Reserve to adjust the money supply using what is known as open market operations. As you can see here, the scenario presented to us is that our economy is in a recession. Characteristic of the recession, we have a very high unemployment rate, a negative growth rate in terms of GDP, and the economy is experiencing deflation. So what does the Federal Reserve do to improve the market conditions and work to get us out of this recession? Well, one of the things that the Federal Reserve can do is engage in what is known as open market operations. Open market operations is characterized by an increase in the money supply where the Federal Reserve will inject money into the banking system. As you can see here, we have a flow of money from the Federal Reserve to the banks. And in return, the banks will send the Federal Reserve what are known as bonds or securities. So the way that it actually works is the New York traders at the Federal Reserve will call member banks or member financial institutions and issue trades on existing bonds. Again, this is known as open market operations. So what we can see with the open market operations is that there is an increase in the amount of money or liquidity in the banking system. Essentially, the bank's reserves are increasing through open market operations as the Fed works to pump money into the economy. The hope is that the banks will then take that money and then lend it. So if we look at this as a change in the money supply, we would see that the money supply increases. And when banks have increased liquidity or increased financial capital, the net result of this will be a reduction in interest rates as the banks no longer have an incentive to offer high interest rates to get their customers to put money in their accounts. Effectively, the incentive now is to lower interest rates to lend. Now let's look at the what's called money market graph at the top right of the screen to see how this would appear in illustrated graphic form. With an increase in the money supply due to open market operations where the Federal Reserve is buying bonds and increasing the money supply, we'll see a shift to the right of the money supply curve. Notice the impact now on the equilibrium nominal interest rate as the money supply curve shifts from MS to MS1, an indication of an increase in the money supply. Interest rates will go down, as we can see here, they slide along the money demand curve. Therefore, if interest rates are lower, people will demand more money in its liquid form as cash. So what the Fed is actually hoping for is that with these low interest rates, they will appeal to consumers that may be interested in borrowing money to buy, let's say, a house or maybe a big ticket item like a car. Additionally, they're hoping that businesses will also borrow money to, let's say, expand. Maybe Amazon decides to build another fulfillment center. Ultimately, whether it is consumers buying big ticket items like cars and houses or businesses expanding, the C component and the I component of GDP are causing economic activity to occur. So here we see that the construction of a house is going to require builders. The sale of the car is going to require salespersons and other individuals that are involved in the process of selling cars. And of course, Amazon expanding and building this warehouse, they'll need workers as well to both stock the shelves and to prepare the items for shipping. Again, the open market operations increasing the money supply drives down interest rates in the hope that consumers and businesses will borrow, thus creating economic activity. So what is the end result? With all of this borrowing and spending by consumers and businesses, we'll see GDP increase. And as GDP increases, it's kind of like the Walmart effect during the holiday season. As Walmart gets busier, they have to hire more workers. And as Walmart hires more workers, in this case, the economy hires more workers. The unemployment rate goes down. As people buy more houses and cars and businesses spend money, we see inflation go up. So remember, the Federal Reserve is responsible for three things. Creating economic growth and GDP keeping a fully employed economy or the unemployment rate of around 5 to 6%, and making sure that there is a little bit of inflation in the economy of around 2 to 3%.
So hopefully this visual of the Federal Reserve open market operations will assist in your understanding of how the Federal Reserve obtains their desired results. Thanks and see you next time.